Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we will be discussing about the second problem of today's weekly contest, minimum operations to make integer 0. The problem is not algorithmic, but rather it is more inclined toward mathematics. So we, in this particular video, we will be looking at all the different proofs that is associated with this particular problem. So let's get started. The problem says that we are given two integers, num1 and num2. In one operation, you can choose an integer i in the range 0 to 60 and subtract 2 to the power i plus num2 from num1. You have to return the minimum number of operations in which you will be able to convert this num1 to 0 by applying, by applying this kind of operation. If it is impossible to make num1 to 0, you will return minus 1. Right? So let's take an example. Let's say num1 is 3, num2 is minus 2. So basically, you have to convert this 3 to 0 by applying some operations or basically subtracting some 2 to the power i minus 2 from 3 such that 3 becomes 0. Right? Now, what they are saying is let's, uh, let's apply the operation with i equals to 2. So if you apply the operation with i equals to 2, this will be 4. 4 plus num2 which be 4 minus 2 equals to 2. So basically you are subtracting 2 from 3. So after one operation the value of num1 would be 1. Let's apply the same operation again. So basically let's subtract 2 again from 1. So it will become minus 1. Now let's apply one more operation in which i is 0. So if i is 0 this would be 1. 1 minus minus 2 uh, 1 plus minus 2 which be will be minus 1. So you are subtracting minus 1 from minus 1. So it will become 0. So in three operations, we are able to convert num1 to 0. And hence, and it can be proven that there is no other better way in which we can convert this 3 to 0 in less than three operations. And hence, uh, the answer here is 3. Now, how to solve this? So we'll just, uh, okay, first of all, uh, we can't like here we have to apply some operations in uh, a smart way so we can't actually say what all operations to apply beforehand right so we have to make some kind of rearrangements here so let's say we have to like the problem says that we will subtract this from num1 again and again right so let's just simplify this and say that okay num1 is formed of summation of this uh, values right so what we can say is n1 should be equals to 2 to the power i1 plus num1 num2 2 to the power i2 plus num2 2 to the power i3 plus num2 and so on and so forth now we can just simply rearrange this brackets and it will become 2 to the power i1 plus 2 to the power i2 plus all the way up to 2 to the power i x where x is the total number of operations that we have applied now the value of i1 i2 i3 all of them can be anything. So uh, we will discuss that. So basically, this is the first part and second part would be num2 will be repeated x number of times because we have done x operations. So this will become num2 cross x. You can just rearrange this and this will be the final expression. Now, uh, what it is saying is we will apply some x number of operations and if for any x number of operations, this condition is, if this condition is true, it means we that particular x is valid. In other words, it means that we are we should be able to convert num1 to 0 in x number of operations, right? Now, we have to figure out minimum possible value of x. So what we can do is we can simply iterate over x starting from 0 because 0 is the minimum possible value of x. We'll start from 0, we'll keep on incrementing x and for the first x for which this expression is true will say that is the minimum number of operations in which we will be able to convert num1 to 0. right? Now we'll start from 0 and go all the way up to infinity. But uh, it is possible that num1 can't be equals to 0, can't be made to 0 at all. So we can't afford going to infinity. So we have to limit it by some number. We'll come to that for, for now, but for now assume that that's the strategy. Strategy is we'll start from zero, go all the way up to infinity, figure out the first x for which this expression is true and that will be our answer. Now, let's say for some x, let's say x equals to six, the value of this comes out to be 10, right? So what does it mean? It means we have to figure out 
if it is possible that with six expressions we will get 10 so basically it's saying that 2 to the power i1 plus i2 plus i3 i4 i5 up till i6 so whether it is possible to get six expressions of two powers that will sum up to 10 if the answer is yes x like x equals to 6 is a valid value otherwise x equals to 6 is not a valid value right now the value here is 10 right so what's the simplest thing you can do simplest thing uh, can be you will put every i as 0 so basically i1 would be 0 i2 would be 0 i3 would be 0 and all the way up to i6 would be 0 so basically we are saying that uh, we will be having 10 expressions so 2 to the 2 to the power 0 plus 2 to the power 0 all the way up to 10 times so we will have 10 expressions here so basically we are saying that x equals to 10 is possible for sure right other other thing can be you can convert 10 to binary representation right and in the binary representation you see that there are two bits set so what you can say that i will form 10 by just summation summing 2 to the power 3 and 2 to the power 2 in other words we are saying that the value of x can be 2 as well right so we know the value of x can be 2 we know the value of x can be 10 but that doesn't tell us whether x equals to 6 is possible or not right so again just to reiterate we wanted to figure out whether it is possible to get six expressions of 2 to the power i that will sum up to 10 we figured out that there can be there can be a way where we can sum up 10 expressions of 2 to the power i to get 10 there is a way to sum up two expressions of 2 to the power i to get 10 but we still have to figure out whether it is possible to get six or not so the the resultant is basically everything between 2 and 10 is possible how i would strongly encourage you to pause the video and try to think yourself first so let's look at this table so this was the initial binary representation right basically this is the smallest form in which 10 can be represented in a binary format right so 2 to the power 3 plus 2 to the power 2 now what you can do is 2 to the power 3 is actually equals to 2 to the power 2 plus 2 to the power 2 right or in other words basically any 2 to the power x plus 1 is a combination of 2 to the power x plus 2 to the power x right now because this is true you can take this 2 to the power 3 and say that instead of having 1 2 to the power 3 i will have 2 2 to the power 4 right so previously you have two expressions of 2 to the power i now you will have three expressions of 2 to the power i right you will have 2 to the power 2 plus 2 to the power 2 plus 2 to the power uh, 1 that will sum up to 10 as well similarly you can say that okay this 2 to the power 2 you have two 2 to the power 2s right so let's just write it down so this particular expression denotes that 2 to the power 2 plus 2 to the power 2 plus 2 to the power 1 so notice that this also sums up to 10 right so this is valid now what you can say that okay i will take 1 2 to the power 2 and break it into 2 to the power 1 and 2 to the power 1 right we can do that right same argument so what we have done is we just like now we are left with just 1 2 to the power 2 and we have 3 2 to the power 1s this will also sum up to 10 but now we have four expressions of 2 to the power i you can just keep on doing this and you will see that at every iteration what we are doing we are just subtracting one number one higher number and adding two lower number right in other words we are adding one every time initially it was two we subtracted one higher number added two lower number so we have three expressions now now we have three expressions we subtracted one higher and added two lower so we have four expressions now so if you just keep on doing this you will get everything between 2 and the maximum value now what is the maximum value maximum number of expressions that you can get is 10 
Why? Because everything is in its lowest form, two to the power zero. So basically, you are saying that I will add one plus one plus one plus one up to ten times, and I will get ten. So that is the lowest form possible. So basically, we are saying that everything between the lowest and the largest is possible. So if uh, the value of x that we have chosen, if that value lies between the number of set bits in the diff and is also smaller than the actual value itself then it is possible in other words if x lies between this range then the value of x is good right so again just to get reiterate this particular part we have started with uh, this particular expression we have said that okay we will try every try out every possible value of x starting from 0 all the way up to infinity and see if the first value of x for which this expression is satisfied so while trying out the values of x we figured out that okay let's say for x equals to 6 the value is 10 so we now have to figure out whether it is possible to get 10 ex uh, six expressions of 2 to the power i that will sum up to 10 so we solved that problem by saying that we will figure out the smallest and the largest number of expression that is possible smallest expression can be figured out by doing the binary representation and largest can be figured out by the number itself because you can just say that i will add one ten number of times and we saw that everything between them is possible so with this logic we now are able to figure out whether a particular value of x is good or not but we can't iterate all the way up to infinity so we have to solve for that as well so we have to figure out some practical maximum value of x after which if we don't find an answer we can deterministically say that there will there is no answer at all right so for that let's just try to dissect this expression into two different parts so let's just take the first expression first and uh, that is the first expression and this is the second expression right now think about this what can be the number of bits set here so value of maximum value of n2 can be 10 to the power 9 so because it is negative let's take minus 10 to the power 9 so basically we are saying that 10 to the power 9 multiplied by some x how many bits can be set in this particular value so in 10 to the power 9 30 bits are set right now if you multiply with uh, some x let's say uh, x is uh, 100 right so if x is 100 it means uh, you have uh, let's say seven more bits set so basically you are saying that if x is 100 only 37 bit can be set at max right because 37 bit can be set for x 100 it this expression will always be true right getting it so basically we are saying that because this is a logarithmic factor of x this expression would be true after certain value of x now that value of x you don't need to figure out exactly what that value is we just need a upper bound right so we figured out we saw that for 37 it is good right so similarly like uh, you you can do this exercise and figure out the exact value of x but we don't need that for this problem 37 is good enough so we are saying that if up till 37 this condition uh, like if up till 37 this condition is something we need to check after 37 we don't need to check this condition at all this condition will always be true right so up till 37 we can simply go over all the values of x and that is not an issue but what up but about after 37 so after 37 we have seen that this expression we don't need to take care of now if we can somehow prove that for anything after 37 if this is true then it will be true for some value of x less than 37 as well right because if it is true for some value of x greater than 37 and not true for some value of x less than 37 we need to look for the values of x greater than 37 as well right so that's where we we have divided this into two part first part where n2 is less than 0 and second part where n2 is greater than 0 so 
सो इफ एन टू इज लेस देन जीरो दिस एक्सप्रेशन वुड ऑलवेज बी पॉजिटिव राइट एंड बिकॉज दिस एक्सप्रेशन इज ऑलवेज पॉजिटिव फॉर एनी पॉजिटिव एक्स दिस कंडीशन वुल ऑलवेज बी सेटिस्फाइड देर इज नो डाउट अबाउट दैट राइट सो बेसिकली इफ फॉर एनी नंबर ग्रेटर देन थर्टी सेवन दिस कंडीशन इज सेटिस्फाइड फॉर द नंबर लेस देन थर्टी सेवन इट विल ऑल्सो बी सेटिस्फाइड राइट नाउ कमिंग टू एन टू ग्रेटर देन जीरो इन दैट केस वी कैन सिंपली रियर इन दिस पैक्ट एंड वील से दैट ओके एन टू इज ग्रेटर देन जीरो सो इट मीन्स दिस एक्सप्रेशन इज सेटिस्फाइड एंड वी विदाउट द लॉस ऑफ जनरलिटी वी कैन सिंपली रिमूव एन टू हियर बिकॉज इट सेज दैट टेन इज लेस देन इलेवन सो फाइव इज ऑल्सो लेस देन इलेवन राइट सो दैट्स वट वी हैव डन लाइक वी सिंपली रिमूव एन टू एंड दिस इज ऑल्सो सेटिस्फाइड सो वट दिस मीन दिस मीन दैट और यू कैन जस्ट से एक्स माइनस वन सो दिस मीन दैट फॉर एनी एक्स इफ इट इज सेटिस्फाइड फॉर एक्स माइनस वन ऑल्सो इट विल बी सेटिस्फाइड सो इन अ वे वी हैव प्रूव्ड दैट फॉर एनी थिंग ग्रेटर दैन थर्टी सेवन दिस विल ऑलवेज बी सेटिस्फाइड एंड इफ फॉर एनी इंटीजर ग्रेटर दैन थर्टी सेवन द सेकेंड एक्सप्रेशन इज सेटिस्फाइड द सेकेंड एक्सप्रेशन द सेम एक्सप्रेशन कैन बी सेटिस्फाइड फॉर लेस देन थर्टी सेवन एज वेल सो बिकॉज वी वॉन्ट लेसर वैल्यू वी वुड हैव ऑलरेडी गोट एन अ वैलिड वैल्यू बिफोर इट सेल्फ राइट एंड बिकॉज दैट्स द केस वी कैन सिंपली लिमिट अवर सर्च अप टिल थर्टी सेवन अगेन दिस थर्टी सेवन इज जस्ट अप्रॉक्सीमेट नंबर यू डोंट नीड टू गो अप टिल थर्टी सेवन देर कैन बी लेसर वैल्यूज एज वेल विच यू कैन फिगर आउट बट फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रॉब्लम वी कैन गो ऑल द विथ थर्टी सेवन एंड सी इफ फॉर एनी वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स लेस देन इक्वल थर्टी सेवन द गिवेन कंस्ट्रेंट इज सेटिस्फाइड और नॉट इफ इट इज सेटिस्फाइड विल रिटर्न दिस एन आंसर इफ इट डजेंट सेटिस्फाई वी आर श्योर दैट there will not be any answer at all right so this is the pseudo code like this is the code like it's very straight forward we are just going all the way to 36 so basically i think uh, 36 is also possible so you can go all the way to 36 figure out this difference value that is num1 minus uh, uh, x into num2 so op is x here and then we just need to figure out the count of set bits this is the minimum possible number of bits or minimum possible number of two to the power i's that you can form for this particular operation so just go through all the operations of set bits uh, just go th uh, just see if number of operation that you are doing is greater than equals to this set bits count and if it is less than equals to the difference itself if operation lies in between it means it is possible to uh, it is possible that for this particular value of x we will get an expression something like this right and because it is possible we will simply return that particular number of operations now after this entire loop ends we know that uh, this expression is not satisfied for anything less than 36 and we already proved that for anything greater than 36 uh, if this expression is satisfied this should also be satisfied for less than 36 as well so that way we kind of proved that there there is no value at all and hence we return minus 1 right so i know this was a bit involved but uh, i hope you get the overall idea how we approached and uh, how we actually got to the maximum value uh, if you like the video give it a thumbs up and do subscribe if you haven't already if you have any doubts feel free to post them in the comment section below i will see you in the next one thank you